So Tom Brady made the NFC Championship game in his first year in the NFC. And Dallas ain't been in 25 years. Damn. Damn. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. You know what I'm saying? What's happening with y'all? I know it's been like four or five days. Um, sorry I've been MIA. Your boy been studying for this real estate exam. Um, trying to add more things to the repertoire. And it's been keeping me kind of busy. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all pray for a brother. Here go the book right here. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. That's what I've been doing. So, yeah. Been living in that. So, yeah, I've been kind of MIA, but my fault. But listen, the team, man. Um, first and foremost, my boy Dak Prescott, man. They say that the rehab is going good. Um, this is from Adam Schefter. This isn't just hearsay. Um, they're saying that um, he's already walking. He's been training on an anti-gravity treadmill. Um, a lot of good things to hear, man. Like they were saying when he first got hurt, Dak suffered a clean break. It was a gross break. It was nasty. And I know it hurt everybody, but, um, you know what I'm saying? Suffered a clean break, no nerve damage, no ligaments was ripped. So, you know, the bone is pretty much fully healed, and he is just strengthening everything. Um, that probably going to be fully full-fledged throwing by late March or April, you know, as far as just working out with the team. And by the time the draft hit, man, that going to be ready to go. So I have no doubt that he'll be back. I know they're taking their time with it, but everything is going ahead of schedule. So that's good to hear, you know what I'm saying? Um, for everybody that was wondering, you know, if Dak was going to be all right. Now, 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 Dak is good. But um, <laughs> earlier today, man, um, SportsCenter took the time to retweet a quote from our NFL memes page, basically showing that Tom Brady made the NFC Championship game in his first year in the NFC. And Dallas ain't been in the NFC Championship game in 25 years. <sighs> That's craziness. But it's real. What I'm going to say to that? What anyone going to say to that? But I like that Dak is taking notes. I like people that play with a chip on their shoulder. You know what I'm saying? They don't brush stuff under the rug. He's not going to smile at the press conference like some Dallas players that we know. That's been pissing me off all season. You know, he 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 he, 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 he um he responded in the comments, basically telling um Zeke to hold his crutches. You know what I'm saying? Which is funny to me, but it lets me know that he's taking notes, man. You know, all the doubters that's been doubting him. That's what fueled that. That's why I like that. You know, he don't fold under pressure like a um, quarterback I know in Philly. Um, you know, he always comes back and shows and proves more. Dak has improved every single year since he's been in the league. There wasn't there has been a year of progression, like somebody I know in Philly. Um, he's been just steadily progressing and getting better. So I have no doubt that this year gonna be the same. He was having a career year before he got hurt, you know. But now that that's out the way, I have a question for y'all, man. I'm pretty set on offense, man. I know a lot of people been going for um wanting to draft the uh, tight end Kyle Pitts, you know, um first round this year. I'm more on team defense. Or maybe even drafting that tackle to show up the old line because I'm a foundation over fluff type person. You know, skill players are amazing, but if your foundation ain't right, they ain't doing nothing. So look, I'm thinking this. What do you think is best to fix this defense? Like, should we go draft heavy? Focus on the draft to try to fill most of the defensive holes? Or should we go free agency? Um... I think the answer is somewhere in the middle, um, but I definitely want some young talent because I don't want to just go all in on free agency and then it's a flop and then you feel like you're starting at square square one. Um, as far as first round in the draft, I would love Zayvon Collins. I want to shore up that middle with a legitimate linebacker. I used to think Mika Parsons, but I'm kind of off the Mika Parsons train. Y'all let me know who y'all would want more. But if we show up that front seven, it will help the back end tremendously um as much as i like patrick certain because he reminds me of richard sherman with his measurable 6'2 like 207 or something like that i want to shore up a unit 
rather than just throw a great player into the back end. So that's who I would want. I think I'm I'm right presently today. I'm on the Zayvon Collins train. That's who I would want at 10. Y'all let me know if I'm reaching. But I think that his instincts, his measurable 6'4", like I think he like 230 or something like that. Let me let me say. Zayvon Collins is just legit. Oh, 6'4", 256. Um, I think that he was short at middle up. You can move um, Jalen to the outside, LB to the other side, and you could just do more with that trio in a 4-3 than you could um, – you know, saying Jalen can work in and off the field. Him and LV can kind of swap in and out. And Xavier can run that middle. But that's just me. Um, but this is how I will fix the rest of the defense. Um, more than likely, I think Dallas is going to re-sign Chidobe. I just think they will. As much as I would want Sertain, if they don't go corner in the first round, I think it's going to be because they plan on re-signing Chidobe to a team-friendly deal for a year or two. Nothing too crazy. And um, Chidobe is a definitely a serviceable second corner. And then I think in free agency... There's two different people I would want to pick up. Um, Marcus May. I think it's Marcus May. Out of the Jets free safety. Or Justin Simmons. It was free safety out of Denver. Um, I definitely think you should throw some money at safety. I want somebody that has experience back there at safety. I don't want a um, rookie if I can't. I mean, I like Moorhead out of TCU. Um, but I would love a experience back there at safety. I also would like, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to bring back Gerald McCoy. I'm almost 100% positive Jeremy McCoy is going to be a Cowboy again. Um, so that's fine. But I would love for them to pick up Endowment and Sue. I know he like 35, but he is already right now better than any DT we on our team. He would show up that middle. He's incredibly strong. He's very knowledgeable. He's been around the league. He's a complete veteran. He'll bring some nastiness to that front. Um, him and Jeremy McCoy in the middle, I know we went old last year and it didn't quite work out, but I think – I do think if you put those two together, it would work magic, man. And then you have the younger dudes so you can keep them fresh. You can work them in and out. Because I'm not saying give up on Neville Gallimore or Tristan Hill. I'm just saying two veterans, two young guys, you know what I'm saying, to work in with the veterans would be perfect. But I definitely want to hear what y'all think. Like, who are some prospects y'all want to talk about that would show up this defense? Because whether it's free agency or it's draft, that's what we need to focus on. You know, as much as everybody want to draft, like I said, they want to draft um, Kyle Pitts. That would be amazing. But we can't keep bargain basement shopping. We'd be shopping at the Dollar Tree for our defenders and then get mad when the results is Dollar Tree worthy. Like, if we want a wild good team, we got to invest. You know what I'm saying? If we was playing poker, man, it's time to slide them chips to the middle of the table. Dak's coming back with a chip on his shoulder. He's hearing everybody chirping. Sports Center making jokes on us. We get moved off of national TV. Like, we the laughing stock of the league. It's funny to laugh at this start right now. But I like that, though. I like because it'll, it'll give us something to focus on in this offseason, man. You know, um, it's better to play with a chip. You know, we, we spent too many years as a franchise being just good enough to not complain, but not bad enough to make no substantial changes. We just had a year where our franchise quarterback got broke down. Numerous players was out. They moved us off national TV. Sports Center making jokes on us. Like, we're not even a point of conversation. You know, first thing first, go sign our quarterback, man. Set the tone. Sign the quarterback. Then after you sign Dak, you know what I'm saying, you, you just signed Quinn. I seen Quinn's um interview today um, basically talking about the main thing I got from that long long interview piece was we need to establish our identity. He said he wants to basically analyze all of the defenders we have right now, which is good. Go watch tape on all of them so it can let you know what we need to do in free agency and the draft. You can't just guess on it. You can't hit us with a McCarthy like, yo, I watched, I watched tape. I think, you know, go watch tape for real. Look for weaknesses. You know, go watch Antoine Woods get blown off the ball 10 yards. <laughs> you know, watch Jalen Smith make tackles 17 yards down the field and realize that we got to make some substantial additions. We might have to make some tough cuts to get a legitimate defense on the field. Am I saying we're going to be the Legion of Boom? No. I just want to be respectable, respectfully. But look, 
Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man, on what you want to do to fix this defense. You want to go draft? You want to go free agency? And what free agents do you want to pick up? What positions? Or who do you want to draft in the first two rounds? If I had it my way, I'm going Zayvon Collins. And then I might go corner in the second round, whoever is available still. Or safety. But I definitely would want to sign May and I would want, or, and or Simmons. And I would want to sign and Dominican Sue. You know? That's just me, man. It's your boy, Mr. Wrong Cowboys Fan Talk. And again, man, I appreciate all the support from y'all trying to grow this thing. Peace.